in our pilgrimage of life, it is also a time for us to be purified, a time to reassess ourselves. That is why they say life on this earth is a pilgrimage, truly, a pilgrimage for us, like Jesus, to learn obedience to God. And many of us, along the way, we will stumble, we will fall. Wilderness is always a symbol of prayer, of contemplation, a symbol of testing ground for us to be purified, to come to know our deepest desires and to understand our deepest fears. And it is for this reason that the Lord is inviting us if we are going through the desert of life, to look deep into ourselves, we need to place our faith in God, especially when we are going through trials in life, especially when we find life difficult to carry on. Today in the gospel, we have the healing of the leper, a very beautiful example of faith. This leper He broke the Mosaic law, firstly by coming to Jesus. We didn't hear him shouting, unclean, unclean. There was a kind of faith and confidence in Jesus that he would not be rejected by him. And true enough, Jesus showed his love and mercy. Not only Jesus cured the man, Jesus went out to embrace him By touching him, Jesus was saying to him, you are no more unclean. You have your dignity. And by touching him, Jesus was welcoming him back to the community. The Lord told the leper, this is what you must do. Say nothing to anyone. But unfortunately, this leper did not obey. He went away and talked about freely telling the story everywhere. Because of this, Jesus could no longer go openly into any town, but to stay outside in places where nobody lived. So the one who was clean touched the one who was unclean. He made himself unclean. That is why he could not go inside the town anymore, because Jesus, in touching the leper, was considered unclean. And he had to stay out. Jesus truly a man who feels with us in our sufferings. And that is the reason why we are called to turn to him. Because we know that Jesus is identified with us, he feels with us, and he comes to lead us in this journey of life, trusting in God's mercy and love.